Okay, so what we're going to be doing is working on a kind of like a chest of drawers, dresser situation for my friend Carrie. She is pregnant and is expecting a little baby girl. And her room is going to be pink walls and navy and teal furniture. Carrie is um, an amazing decorator. She has got such an eye. She found the piece, right? The piece that she wants in the room. If you find a piece, um, a piece of art, this is a piece of art that she is going to be, um, her, I think her mom made, right? It's like embroidery. Um, and so that's perfect. That's perfect. So when you're looking for a room, find a piece that you love and then you can make the room around it. So that's what she did. So the embroidery piece is gorgeous and it has navy, teal, and pink in it. And so from there, and there's going to be gold. Yes, Lord Jesus, gold. So we have pink walls, um, gold crib, and then uh, white, kind of old white, basically cream furniture. And then, but the accents are going to be teal and navy. <sighs> yes. Um, so what we have is, see if I can turn you around some. Spin you, spin you. Okay, that's part of it. Mm-hmm. That is part of it. I'm going to knock my sunglasses over. That's the other part right there. You see it? Oh, yeah. And then here are the drawers. Where are the drawers? There are the drawers right behind me. There you go. So, um, where am I? I'm right here. I'm right here. Good. Yes. Okay. So, what are we going to do? We are going to take the handles off the drawers, paint them and the interior of the drawers first, then we're going to paint the outside. Um, she wants it to be all white, which I love, right? And I'm going to take care of this too. It's like all of this is French linen and then this is, I don't even know. I'll take care of that. Um, we're going to do old white. We're going to do some distressing. I'm excited. And I got my hair done today. You're welcome. That looks great. Okay. Let's get to work. First, we're going we're gonna to do is unscrew all the handles, put them in a safe place. Very important. Yes. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint the drawer handles and then the drawers themselves. So just opened it. It's a beautiful color. Beautiful. Um, and I'm going to use my small Annie Sloan paintbrush because I'm painting small things and details and so I'll use the big one after we're done with this I'll use the big one to do the old white okay so drawer handle Napoleon blue pulling by the screws in the back remember I put the screws in the back of it Oh my lord, yes. I'm sorry. This is just yes, yes, yes. You gotta love that. Like, you've got to. Got to. Now, you're gonna get paint on your hands. I'm getting paint on my hands, and I'm almost what you would call a professional. Second week of school, guys. Second week of school, my daughter's teacher, Lily, her teacher has already called me out on being messy and having pain all of me all of the time. All of the time. 
Like one day she, I came to school to get Lily and she's like, oh, you're not, you, you must not be doing anything today because you're not covered in paint. Thanks. Thanks, Miss Sturgeon. Thanks. Here, where you can see it. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I'm gonna put cold gold on them later. But having this dark background to the gold, it's gonna be amazing. I have this um, I have this piece of cardboard that I'm just gonna lay them on. Probably I should have set up my where I'm gonna lay them down at before I started actually painting that. Painting tip: Have a place to put your stuff when you're done. So, first coat of Napoleonic blue on the drawers, and I've let them dry while I was eating lunch. You're welcome. Um. I also did Napoleonic Blue over all of the little detailing. That'll be, that'll work for in a little bit. Whenever um, we go over it with all old white, it's going to stand out a little bit and it's going to make it cooler with the distressing. Um, so I'm going to paint the drawers again. What I wanted to show you now are these, the handles. Um, we're going for more of like a champagne gold metallic finish for them. That's what I have here. It, this is the brand it looks like is Deco Art Elegant Finish Metallic Paint. And I'm going to, let me go grab my brush. Okay, so. I got some on my fingers, so I'm just gonna pre-paint. That's what I call the pre-paint. Um, all right, so here's my little thingy. I am doing gentle brush strokes, almost like a dry brush, but not really. Yeah, it's cool. It's gonna be awesome. So, and I'm gonna leave it kind of like this. Now, I may do another coat. Y'all, when you're painting, and you know it's gonna take a lot, two thinner coats just seem to work better for me than one thick coat because there's less drippage and carnage and stuff, I don't know. I prefer two smaller coats than one large coat. So, there it is. Can you see it? Is it awesome? I think it's awesome. I'm in love with it because with the Napoleonic blue underneath, it just kind of makes it stand out a little bit more and that just, that does it for me. I am going to use the uh, big brush today. Um, super thick, very good at coating large areas. And that's what we're working on today is a large area. So. Here we go. Okay, so I have started sanding um, the drawers. Drawers are first, then we'll move on to the dresser, and then we'll move on to the last piece. Um, it's still a little damp, so I'm trying to do things around it, but not close to it. So, this is a drawer. I'm coming first so you can see what I've done. Um, 150 grit sandpaper. Are we? Can you see me? Okay. 150 grit sandpaper. I have gone around the edges. Ta-da! Just a little bit of distressing. I might do a little bit more, just a touch. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. 
and I'm trying to keep it out of the blue. So I'm going to do the blue like this. Um, and in the same um, path as the strokes of the brush. I don't know where my airbrush thing, my air can air went. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? Now watch this. This is not sanded. I mean, yeah, it's not waxed, but let's just pretend for a moment. Pretend with me. I'm just gonna kind of brace them in there. How? Like, okay, can you see that? Can you see that? That is beautiful. <sighs> Carrie's gonna like this. And I hope her baby does too. That is just gorgeous right there. We've got a little bit of distressing, the old white, the. See, this is my fingerprints. So that's why you have to clean everything off. Um, anyways. So that's that. I'm loving it. Yay! On to more. Okay, so I was, um, got a little paintbrush and I was looking at, uh, I'm crooked. Are y'all crooked? I'm crooked. Anyways, I was looking at the drawers and I was touching up some paint, some of the white paint that I had messed up on, um, I've got my fingers on the blue. Um, and then I was like, yeah, I want to do a touch more detailing on um, these pieces. So let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so there is this really cool de edging right here, this detail. And the sanding brought out a lot of it. Um, and normally I don't paint over whatever I just sanded. But in this situation, I think that it is doable. So we're going to paint the inset right here. And it's going to show up a lot more and it's going to be extra fancy for the baby girl. How cool is that? Doesn't that make it look nicer? I'm going to fill in a couple of extra holes. Hey, is that better? I'm going to fill in a couple of extra holes. Hey, let me get where it's brighter. Hello. So, um, I've already waxed the drawers. Why? Because they're the most difficult thing to wax. Actually, if you ask me what's the hardest thing to wax, it's whatever I'm waxing right now. Waxing is not my favorite part of the job, but it is a very integral part of the job. What it probably, I mean, it's very important because it cures the paint and it seals it and it keeps it nice and beautiful for a long, long time and not scratched up. Um, so now I'm about to do this piece. I'm going to wax it and you can watch me if you want to. Ta-da! Um, hold. I will let you see it close up. So we have the blue drawers. The blue drawers. Yes, yes. See the gold drawer pulls. You push it in, you get the whole the whole shebang. Or not, because I can't work this camera. Boom. That's gorgeous right there. This one's laying down, so I'm gonna have to maneuver you. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, guys. Well, I'm just holding the tripod. Don't mind me. I'm just holding the tripod. So, um, it's a great day. It's a great day to be done. Now I just need to deliver this. Yay. Bye.